No, you're not watching spider cannibalism in action. In fact, that spider acting as a claw machine is dead and is now being used as an actual machine. So we're referring to these as necrobotic grippers. We're calling it necrobotics because we're using these basically dead uh, objects, dead spiders in this case, but it can be any kind of biotic materials. Researchers at Rice University think they've stumbled onto a new material for gripping mechanics. They got the idea when they saw a dead spider in a hallway and noticed it was curled up, which got them thinking about how spiders' legs actually work. So in a human, we have our biceps and our triceps. Uh, they work to both flex and then extend the elbow joint. But when you think about spiders, they have flexor muscles that will bring their joints uh, and appendages in towards the body but they don't have extensors. And instead they do that with hydraulic pressure that they generate uh, inside of the main cavity or chamber of their body. The engineering team says it was able to recreate this motion with a syringe and air. And they were surprised how well it worked on their first try. I don't even know how to describe it, that moment when you see it move. It's a little weird at first. You're like, is it dead? <laughs> because it moves so lifelike. If you think it's a little macabre, maybe you shouldn't. Humans have been utilizing dead animals since forever. I guess this concept is not really new because we've already been using like leather um, from animals to make like clothing and shoes and bags and even wool from sheep. And so this is kind of, this is an even more straightforward way. We kind of just take the animal itself and use it as the a ready to use material. Engineers are already coming up with ways to put necrobotics into practice. Arachnophobes need not apply. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Mara Montalbano.